Nice to see you on there. This is cool. On the house band. Yeah, man. <laughs> That's awesome. Hey. There we go. He didn't let me come in one time. I hung out for about a month. They finally put me on stage. So. I want to start off with kind of a quick one here.
I truly love playing this place. The sound is so great. The audience is so great. And, uh, so that last one was a song that I wrote when, uh, about 12 years ago to kick my ass and record an album. And a mere 12 years later, I did it. So, thank you. We understand what you like them. This one's a this one's a song about sitting around and waiting for the one you really think you want, and you're sitting with someone you not particularly want, but you got that comfort and all that. And this person's sitting there looking for someone else, and she's being with you and all that. Just keeps going on and on and on. So you're kind of using somebody to until the next one comes back. This one's called Hello Diana.
Love you. I love you all. This is called Morning is Broken. Not the one you're thinking of. I'm probably going to get sued by Pam or Tom Petty for this. So. <laughs> Thanks a lot. I haven't played that since like 
I lived in New York in 97, so I can't believe I actually remember how to do it. <laughs> That's a good thing. So I, was, I did live in New York City, and we used to like to party a lot. We hung out at a place called the Irish Rover, which is owned by Barry, Barry, and Jerry, all from different counties in Ireland. And uh, man, for gigs, we'd hang out until 5 o'clock in the morning, and then we had to go. It was too early for us to go home, so we met this dude up there. He goes, you want to go drink more? You want to stay up all night? I was like, sure, man. So the back alley, back alley of Queens, we go in there, there's a special knock on the door, and we end up in this uh, Colombian social club. Lines of coke all the way down the bar, man. Oh, my God. Crazy place, really crazy place. We went down there, so we'd hang out there, and just, you know, we wouldn't want to miss anything. And uh, one day, two guys came, and I kicked the door, and they shot in the lights and killed three people, and they shot my friend in the leg. And uh, he, he survived, so uh, it was cool, but it was, I stopped going there after that. I, was, I thought it was a good idea or something, but I was damned if I wasn't going to write a song about it, that's for sure. So a conversation from the coke bar. From a child, there are a dozen lines, there's another fulsome cage. And child is in the bathroom, is pissing in a glass. Sun's coming up, ain't no light is place. Barry started up some shit and got a bottle in the face. Blood all the cows sweat on the floor. The saw stop cleaning, just a holding up the dog. Give me a little taste. I walked out and laughed and wiped the powder from my face. To my home, to my cousin, all little back. Spent the night on the floor, just listen to a gag. I wish I woke up and thought she hit the door. She left with my wallet and my feet. See how? Took another shot to get the devil from my head. I tried to chase it down, but my body felt like lead. Most the basement of a studio town Don't know where my faith is going down, down, down The things I might regret Don't want to miss nothing and I ain't dead yet Two moms walked in, shot out the lights The sound of the cracks had been gone for my life Shot into the crowd, half the people hit the floor the other half could trample as the head of all the jaw. But the biggest man showed up, tried to step outside. He was bleeding from the leg, and now his show was going to die. Saw him dude his lady just limping like a fool. I'm pulling back booze, like he was in the end of proof. I said, Let me see the board, hope they got you inside. No bud, it dug it out with a switchblade knife. Hey, my man, it's getting kind of old. Gotta get out before they stick me in the side. I'm going down, down, down. Went on the most amazing love to the old town. Don't want to wear my face. Down, down, down. All the things in my regret. Don't want to mess nothing and I ain't Looked through the skies and the cops strapped me up 
All my ass in and slapped on the cross. Said, We're not gonna book you, but you gotta spend the night. You goddamn punks always looking for a fight. They said, Hey, there, man, what you gonna do? I just wanna get the hell away from you. Hey, that time, you know, you've never seen you so. You better damn try to wanna stick you in a hole. sandwiches i got a six pack of beer and i sat next to him i said let's talk so uh he was just you know he was thrilled so he told me his whole story it was so typical of like someone like you know they're coming off like midwest nowhere and they want to be something whether it be a model or an actor or a musician or whatever man the parties there's always something going on so he got hooked on the horse man and that was it so and then all of a sudden years later it's a typical stories lying on the street but he seemed just so damn happy for that I was sitting there and talking to him. It took the time to do so and it really hit me a lot. And uh, so I wrote this song, it's called Fall Down on My Side. Oh 
soup and it was kind of like just like murder murder rape rape murder rape murder rape lost dog murder rape and uh so i'm thinking about all that and i'm like thinking about you know 
like people who consider themselves agnostic or whatever, you know, grew up. I grew up. I grew up pretty fairly religious, not my, like overly religious or anything like that. But you know, I'm kind of agnostic, and that's just I'm too afraid not to believe in God, just in case. You know, I don't want to make it. <laughs> so anyway, so I wrote this song. It was um, it was basically about a character, a guy who was just kind of like not a complete, you know, murdering rapist, dog picker kind of thing, but. <laughs> It's basically, you know, just just enough to be, you know, you you know, just sinning enough, and then he dies, and all of a sudden everything's exactly the way it's painted with Saint Peter at the pearly gate and whatnot, and everybody's white. But <laughs> this is called belief. Thank you so much. 
This one's called The Train Don't Go.